was something to smile about at Wimbledon, didn't it? With Murray and Norrie out. A beautiful afternoon here. In fact, the heat increased throughout the day and it was quite widespread across the country. We saw temperatures climbing to 30 degrees as an afternoon high. That's the mid 80s. And even with that early morning torrential rain clearing in Scotland, it improved to 25 Celsius. So a hot day for many, increasingly humid as well. So no surprise to see clear blue sky and sunshine, even brightening up into uh, Scotland and Northern Ireland through the night tonight. We keep those clear skies, but with that southerly breeze continuing to drag in the humidity, it's going to be pretty uncomfortable for sleeping in and an indication of what's to come tomorrow, which may well spoil the story a little for some. But look at these temperatures around 20 degrees, possibly first thing tomorrow morning, 68 Fahrenheit at around dawn. So as we go into the weekend, it is going to be a humid start. There will be some sunny spells, but unfortunately some sharp thundery downpours. Not for all, they cannot be guaranteed, but if you catch them, you'll really know about it. Some of them heavy and widespread, pushing their way steadily north and east. We could get a couple of inches of rain, large hail, rumbles of thunder mixed in there. That's not great news, is it really, if you've got outdoor plans. And it will be quite warm, so if you do dodge the showers, it's going to be a bit of a tricky one to try and plan tomorrow. We could still see temperatures in East Anglia climbing as high as 29 degrees. So that means that there is a potential for the Wimbledon Championships to see some thundery downpours as we go into the day tomorrow. There's also the risk, I'm not sure if this is good news or bad news really, for the third test at the Ashes at Headingley for some sharp thundery downpours here. Some of those really could be quite torrential. Now as we go into Sunday, again it's a case of sunny spells and scattered showers potentially fewer showers around, but we need to keep an eye on these developing across the near continent. Again, some of those could be heavy and thundery. Not quite as hot or as humid on Sunday. A comfortable 17 to 23 degrees. That's your weekend. Fingers crossed you get the weather you want. <laughs>